Warning, this video contains images of feral pests being shot using a rifle of suitable calibre. Please do not watch if you are likely to be offended. Furthermore, if you make any comments that are either negative, political or religious, they will be removed from my channel. Thanks for joining us again, part 4, the final episode. So you all know what that means, the final tally at the end. But before that, this episode is almost all Bob's work. I finally got him to record more video with the night sight, only for him to replace it with a brand new ATN 4K Pro before the next outing. Once again, the equipment I'm using in this episode is the FX Crown chambered in 0.22 with the ATN 4K Pro Scope and the ATN ABL 1000 Ballistic Laser. I'm running the JSB Hades at 15.89 grains and shooting off the BOG Death Grip Tripod. And Bob's equipment is the same as last episode. The FX Royale also in 0.22 with the Optus and Viper 4x16 Scope, the Night Sight Wolf night vision attachment. He's also using the JSB Hades at the 15.89 grains and shooting off the Primos trigger sticks. But as I said, that scope is about to change. At this permission, there's no real requirement to use a thermal to spot our animals. But every now and then, I like to get the Axion XM30 from Pulsar out just to have a look around and see what you can see through the thermal. As you can see, the heat from the rats is pretty prevalent, as well as the heat from underneath the ground, which is why the rats like to live here. Anyway, we'll get back to the shooting and I'll let Bob have a go. Yes, before any of you complain, the quality of the video isn't very good. And that's because the Night Sight system records in 480p. Whereas the ATN 4K Pro records in 1080p. So quite a substantial difference in quality. It is an entry level Night Sight system. It has some advantages over the ATN 4K Pro and it has some major disadvantages. But I'm not going to get into that. Let's just sit back and enjoy the shoot. As you will see in this clip, all the birds that Bob shot apart from the last one managed to fly off a little way, and that's because Bob is shooting him in the upper chest area causing impact to the heart and lung area. So the bird has some energy to fly off a little way. They go to ground and we collect them and dispose of them accordingly.
This next rat would have to be my favourite shot that Bob did that night. This pigeon accepts a well-placed shot by Bob straight to the upper chest, but seems to just walk it off. Bob follows it up with a second shot and takes the bird down. This next bird, however, receives a pellet to the back of the head and only one was needed. Well, we'll make this the last two rats for Bob, and hopefully the next time we see Bob shooting, it will be through the 4K Pro. So we'll finish off with this one rat here, and then a group of five rats for me to end off the night shoot. Thanks again to my permission owners. Well that's the end of this series. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've stayed around for the end tally, which is 45 pigeons and 252 rats, which is our all time record so far. Just on a small side note, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers that watch my channel and that contribute. The money that I earn through your subscription and viewing of my videos has gone towards purchasing an ABL 1000 for Bob's new scope, so thank you very much for your assistance. Thanks again for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. 
To get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. And until next time, please stay safe and stick to social distancing.